y equals sine x well we've done this uh, in previous occasions so let's just put pi and 2 pi here and then we'll do minus pi and minus 2 pi there so what happens when sine naught is naught sine pi is naught so we can put these markers in so any multiple of pi times the sine function we know is naught halfway between it's positive sine 90 pi over 2 is 1 isn't it so there's the value 1 then it goes up and it comes down to minus 1 here so that value is minus 1 and we can draw the sine function so it comes up turns goes back down turns here and then goes back up and the same happens the other side goes down to minus 1 turns and then goes back up to 1 and then back to 0 so let's draw that in there we go so there's the curve then it goes up and follows this cyclical pattern there we go y equals sine x and we knew that anyway but we're just doing these simple trig functions before we go on to anything more tricky